Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. And coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice move and punch. He blocks the punch. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice punch lands over the top. 
Couple of chins here being tested early. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, nice high kick. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And he landed the right hand there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Volume hook shots to the body here as he continues to work out of the clinch. He's doing a really good job of digging to the body every time he comes in close. I really love the way that he's staying the course, he's really following the game plan of get to the body if he was gonna win this fight. Nice punch man over the top. He is all about that left kick to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And both guys really throwing with authority. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. That was a thudding leg kick. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Let's go. Give me that overhand now. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, well timed with the knee to the head. Knee to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice kick. Oh, well, that's a good right hand. Blocks that kick to the body. Ten seconds to go in the round. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice strike. Round two is next. Hey, stop! All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It can't break your will. 
checks the leg kick. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Great punch. What a body kick. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Yeah. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, straight right. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah? Oh! And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Please kick attempt. That one was blocked. Big knee there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big punch lands over. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Landed big shots. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here? Oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, and he caught the kick. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And they separate. Ooh, big shot land. Big body kick land. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ten seconds in the round. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All 
All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready? You ready? Fight. Third round underway. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he's continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, perfect head kick there. He blocks the shot. And they separate. Let's go. Get off first for me. Ooh, what a punch. that one at all. Nice leg kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Big kick land. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Punch coming. It's blocked. Big head kick. He's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage. I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. south position now we'll see how he chooses to proceed well he's in a compromising spot here dc you got to figure out a way to get back to your feet lee's able to transition back to side control now beautiful movement hip work on the ground here just outstanding with the transition he is not staying in one place on the ground and that's very important <laughs> 30 seconds to go well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. 
He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Head kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Nice straight punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Trying to establish that jab once again. Run him down. Slips. Straight punch lands. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands oh. there. Ooh, diving punch lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has... Now he's okay, now he can escape. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt oh. to get back to the guard. Oh, diving punch lands. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And they separate. Kick to the body by Lee. Single leg, take down. Able to check that kick as well. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked. In the head, and he's still standing. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back the 
referee has seen enough. Merciful. by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as the opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.